MMAweekly.com here with Stefan Bonner. Uh, Stefan, fill us in on what you've been up to in this, uh, you know, in this past year. Um, this past year, that's a long time. It is a long time. Well, you've been out for a little bit. It's going to take a while. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see, this time last year, um, we'll start in uh, January. What? I actually did a, I think it was in December, yeah. Did a, did a little movie. Ultimate Champion. Check it out, ultimatechampionmovie.com. You know, it's your typical action movie. I play an ex uh, Iraq war hero turned cage fighting champion. Mm. So that's the character, and he kicks everyone's ass, gets the girl. So people of course. ask me, how was it playing the character? You know, was it hard? I go, no, I just asked myself, what would Brian Stan do? Because I pretty much played Brian Stan. Right, right. So did you like acting? Um, well, acting, it was just. Uh, you know, a couple of grunts and kicking people's asses, and uh, what? yeah, I had a few lines. Right. Uh, it was cool. It was we filmed it quick and painless, and, uh, and it was it was fun. You know. Right. And you were supposed to fight on Ultimate Fight Night 13. Your your knee got okay. injured. And then so after let's. That, <laughs> came back, started my training camp for Hamill about a month in. Tore up my knee, and uh, popped a few ligaments, a few tendons, and meniscus, and had to get some surgery. Then I had a six month vacation and. Uh, and I started training again in uh, September, started light, and then by October I was going pretty good. What was it like getting back into training? Was it, uh, was it uh, hard to motivate yourself? I mean, what, what was it like you know, getting yourself motivated, getting yourself back in that uh, focused, uh, with that focus of getting ready yeah, for a fight? For six months I was like foaming at the teeth to get back in and uh, yeah, uh, train. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sucked uh, not being able to do it, but uh, then again, being out of shape that first month sucked really bad. So yeah. Made it through that, and you know, then it started coming back, and by the second month, I freaked out. Well, I noticed we're here at uh, Sergio Pena's uh, Jiu Jitsu, and um, uh, did you change anything, you know, with, with your training methodology when you came back? You know, did you change anything, do anything lighter, or, or modify anything to make sure you, you know. Yeah, at first, I had to just be careful in certain positions with my knee, and yeah, how I use it, and certain things. And, uh, I did that, and then now though I'm pretty much doing everything, getting kicked in it, and you know, see you guys. See you guys. And uh, yeah, just it's doing everything. Right. So what do you think about this uh, this fight with John Jones coming up on UFC 94? Yeah, UFC. Every fight's going to be a tough one. Dude's undefeated, really athletic, really long, um, and good wrestling, and uh, you know, striking. Uh, he throws some crazy stuff, so you, you got to be on my toes. Well, he seems like a dangerous fight for you. I mean, he, he loves to, you know, come forward. He's very aggressive. Um, yeah, it should make for a good one, in my opinion. Um, you know, I just can go and, and uh, yeah, do, do my thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time I do that, you know, I'd say, you know, I'm just going to train my ass off, do my best, um, uh, and I'm healthy, then I never have regrets. So. Right, right. So um, do you view this as basically like the first step back on the ladder, on the light heavyweight ladder? Um, when it comes to fighting, I kind of, uh, you take that one fight at a time. You right. You look past anyone. And uh, that's really all that's on my mind is getting a win over John Jones and uh, taking it from there. Right. He's got a big reach advantage on you, doesn't he? I mean, he... Yeah, yeah, he's got some long-ass arms, that's for sure. Right. Um, but it seems yeah. like you might have a little bit of a size advantage on him. Do you think that's going to that's gonna play into it at all? Uh, he's strong, you know. I just I feel my striking is... Um, Crisp, and I, I've actually found some long. I got Maurice. Uh, it's like six nine with an eighty nine inch reach, and just getting past his arms um, that'll help me out. So I, I got some long guys to work with. You were sparring with Gilbert Ivo last uh, last night. How was that? You know, um, it kind of sucked because you know did five fives and went with him the second round, and uh, and of course every time I hit him, he'd hit me back harder. So I took him down at the end of the round and kind of you know got a good position on him, and he didn't like that. So he found me again for the fifth round, and uh, and yeah, hit me with a few. So right, it was you know it's it good it's good to take an ass whooping every now and then. Right. Well, this guy John Jones that you're facing at UFC 94, he's only been training for a year and a half at least, uh, according to some reports. Uh, do you think that your level of experience is going to really play a, a big part, a big factor in this fight? Yeah, we'll hope so. Yeah, he, you know, he doesn't have the most experience, but you know, I've seen guys make up for that with athleticism, and and that's kind of what he's going to do. So. Um, you know, yeah, um, I think that'll be my advantage, but I think, you know, we'll do a good job making up for it, and, uh, 
Um, yeah, he's uh, he's going to be game. He knows it's a really big opportunity. He's going to give him everything he's got. So. Uh, so you expect him to come out at you know just like a freight train? Yeah, I just expect him to hang in there tough and uh, you know try his best. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, if he does that, that'll make for a great fight, and that's what fans want. And, yeah, we'll see. So what can we expect from you on the uh, 31st of January? Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I practice the motto, like, uh, expect nothing from anyone. But uh, i just going to tell you what I'll do, what I always do, go out and uh, train my ass off and do my best. So, you know. What would you like to do in 2009? What are your... I know you say you take a fight one fight at a time, but you have any oh, New Year's yeah. resolutions? Yeah, probably um, uh, put out my rap album. Been working on a lot. Maybe go back to some gang banging. 